Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our World War One warship, and as you guys can see, it is actually not looking too, too bad. Uh, if you go to the front, you guys can actually see our ammunition stores, and someone has pointed out a few problems with this. Once we're actually out of ammo, which I suspect we won't ever get out of ammo to be fair, uh, but once we are out of ammo, this thing will constantly be on, and that would suck. Uh, so that's a problem. If we add a breaker to the electricity for this, then we can sort of fix that situation, and I guess that'd be fine. But, um, yeah, we can do that. Anyway, uh, that is the only issue. But yeah, we added this last time, which is awesome, and, uh, we added, uh, it up onto the deck. So today, I figured we'd actually add a main gun to the front of the deck, and hopefully, it'll look quite good. Okie dokie, so we need to figure out how this is going to work. Essentially, we need one of these fitting to it, so that will be pretty cool. Uh, and I kind of want it to be, like, directly in the middle of the ship, if possible, so that would be good. Uh, but I do want it to aim up and down as well, so this is going to be kind of tricky. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this and see where we can actually start with this. Uh, pivot would be nice. Here we go, pivot. So this will actually turn it directly, like, straight away, so let's go ahead and put that... I guess in the ground, uh, we'll actually just have it directly in there like that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and then I think we can actually add stuff to it like this, which would be pretty good. And then we can actually add one of these. Bam. Sideways, which I think would work. There we go. And yeah, that will actually work very well, I think. So we'll put that right there like that. And we have ourselves the setup for our gun. We'll be able to angle it backwards, uh, up and down. And we'll be able to turn it left and right as well. That seems pretty good. Okie dokie. So I'm not entirely sure how I want this to look uh, in the end. But I think what we want is some sort of weird shield uh, around the main gun. So we're going to go ahead and put it on there like that. Uh, honestly, this can be full of anything. That'll be fine. Uh, and we'll do something like this. That'll be fine as well. And then I feel like we just need something across the top. Kind of like this. Uh, which will work as well. Obviously, all of this will be turning and stuff. So that's fine. But, um, yeah, we'll do something like that, I suppose. And then maybe on the edges, we could do something like this. And then something like this. Meow. Actually, no, wait, like this. That's what I meant. There we go. So something like that for our main gun. Uh, and I think that actually looks pretty good, I suppose. Uh, we'll then grab this. We'll turn it around. We'll put it back on. And we'll do that. Okay, excellent. Yes. This is looking kind of interesting. We'll then do that right there. And we'll obviously put something like this into there. Okay, good. We then need this piece to be fit onto there. So how's that going to work? Just like that, I suppose? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Okie dokie. So now we actually need to put the buttons and things inside of here as well. So we're going to go ahead and delete one of the side walls. Actually, we'll go ahead and put this in here like this. That'll be up and down. Uh, we'll have our left and right actually positioned. I was going to say like... I, I, well, I don't really know how this is going to work, because I wanted it like this, but if I delete that one, then that goes to the outside, and that's not amazing. So, what if we put it here? Here we go, we'll whack it in there like that, that seems pretty good. Uh, we should be able to get to it, so that'll be left and right, that'll be up and down. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this minus one, so we can actually aim it all the way up and all the way down, and this will be minus one as well, so we can aim it all the way left and all the way right. Okay, excellent. Go and connect that to the electricity, there we go. And that could go down to there, and there, and also this, just in case. Alright, excellent. So, now we can actually turn the gun and stuff. That's awesome. We need a firing button. Uh, don't know where that's going to go, so we'll actually just put it on the top, I guess. I think that's probably fine. There we go. And we'll uh, logicify that together as well. So, that's the trigger. To open the breach, uh, we're going to put that right here. So, delete that. Actually, no. We'll have it like this. Okay, so there we go. Uh, no, do we, do we need it as a toggle? I don't know if it needs to be a toggle, but we'll do that. So there we go. Open the breach is going to be on a toggle. We need to label all of these things, and that'll be fine. So this will be fire. This will be open breach. There we go. Uh, this is turret up slash down. And then this is turret left right. Slash right. There we go. Excellent. So, if we have all that together like that, that's pretty awesome. Uh, all of that is actually connected, which is great. Loaded. 
I don't think we need a uh, like a thing for that. I don't think we do. So I think this is it. I think we should be able to actually make this thing work now. Okie dokie. So we're up here. Let's go ahead and turn it to... Oh, God. Okay, we need that to be a little bit less aggressive. But that's fine. Down, up. All right, so that needs to be inverted, but that's okay as well. And then to load it, we just do this. Open the breach. Go ahead and put our round in. Close the breach. And fire. That's it. We've done it, guys. We've done it. That's our World War One front turret. I think that works. Honestly, it wasn't supposed to be too big. It's supposed to be quite a small gun with a turret, uh, with, with a shield. And I think that's what we've done. Nice. There is more than that that actually needs to be done, though. So we're actually going to go ahead and make it a little bit different. Uh, first off, we actually are going to build something around it that looks uh, good, hopefully. So that's going to go there like that. We're going to go ahead and put a piece on here like this. There we go. And then once we get to this point, we're actually going to go ahead and do this all the way around. Okay, excellent. But we do want to do that on both sides, if possible. So let's try and do that. <laughs> so let's try and do that. So grab this from here. We need to somehow put it in the exact same position. Which is all the way back here. Okie dokie, excellent. And we need to drag it forwards to there. And then we need to do this. Forwards to here. And then we just need to attach it on. Bam! There we go, right, excellent. Uh, we then need to put this piece in here as well. Excellent. And we need to do all of these guys too. So flip this over, turn it around. Turn it around again. Whack it on there like that. That's good. And then do these guys as well. So put that there, put that there, and fill that in. And there we go. We got ourselves a little thing going on. That's pretty good. We're then going to actually grab one of these. Flip it over, put it right there. And we're going to do that too. Good. I actually don't mind the way this thing looks now, which is pretty good. So we're actually going to go ahead and put a camera on this. Obviously, there wouldn't be a camera IRL, but uh, this isn't real life. So I guess it doesn't matter. But we'll go ahead and put that right there. And we'll say it's like a scope, I guess. So let's get ourselves a monitor, uh, a one by one. Which won't really show us very much, to be fair. But we'll put it in right here anyway. And we'll attach that directly onto the thing. Power switch. Oh, I don't know when this should be on. I don't know when the camera thing should be... Probably, like, always. It should always be on. So let's get ourselves an on signal. There we go. Uh, that can go somewhere on here. I'm pretty sure that's fine. There we go. Good. And we'll connect that directly up. So that goes to... There. Okay, excellent. We then need this to be inverted. So, 1 and minus 1. Okay, and then this one, it needs to be less sensitive. In fact, a lot less sensitive. We're going to go down to 20%. Same with this one. 20%? 20, 20%? There we go. Pretty good. Uh, and I don't know whether that one needed inverting or not. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, right, we need electricity to go to there. So let's go ahead and do that. And we also need... Uh, our video to get sent. Bam! There we go. Alright, excellent. That's good. Okie dokie. So now we're actually at the gun. Let's go ahead and aim it. Oh, wait, what? Okay, it needs inverting again, but that's fine. And this probably needs inverting too. Okay, that's excellent. But that does actually work now. And we also have a camera for it. And we have a fire button. Okay, so we grab it from here. Put it on there. Close it back up. Yeah, let's turn it this way. Let's actually shoot it at something. There we go. Angle it down. So it shoots probably at the trees. Okay, excellent. And fire. Okay, we kind of missed the trees. <laughs> we missed the trees. All right, angle it down more. Open the breach. Put a round in. There we go. Close the breach. And fire. Is that not... Oh, it has set fire to something, I think. Are one of these trees on fire? I didn't see what that did. I have no idea what that did. But anyway, that's fine. Okay, so our gun is actually set up the way that we kind of want it to. I'm going to go ahead and put some inverters in here. Or I'm actually just going to flip these things around. So the easiest way to do that is to grab it like this. Go ahead and cut it. Flip it over. Turn it around. Move it up. Paste it in again. And merge it. There we go. Good. We're then going to do a similar thing with this. So grab this. Cut it. Flip it around. Push it in. Push it forwards. Merge it. Paste it. Merge it. And there we go. Right, so that is actually exactly how we want it. Good. Okie dokie. So just because I kind of feel like it'd be kind of fun, we're going to go ahead and delete this little section right here. Okay, and this little section right here. We're going to get ourselves a hatch, and we're going to have a way to get through to the uh, front deck from in here. Because I feel like that would be kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 
uh, and it'll allow us to get to the actual gun from the bridge really quickly, which is good. We should also maybe have a way to get down into this room pretty quickly from up here as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll delete this little section right here like that. Uh, and we'll actually go ahead and put this in there like this. And that'll allow us to actually go downstairs. Um, and I think that's a pretty good idea. I do. I think that's a good idea. So we'll leave that right there. And I guess we'll have to add ladders. But we'll delete this, this, and this. And we'll add our ladders in. Uh, and that'll allow us to actually get in and out of down here. Which I think is a pretty good idea, to be honest. So let's go ahead and paint this, this, this. There we go. We can get downstairs into this room uh, as quickly as we want. Nice. All right, okay. So I think that is, uh, I think that's all we really need today. I don't know whether we should have some sort of zoom on this. Uh, I don't think there is a zoom. I, well, actually, I guess it would be the camera that zoomed, right? I don't know. What is it that zooms? Camera. Is it the camera? Is it this one? Yeah, so this one can't zoom, but this one can. I'm going to actually use this one. Uh, and we're going to have it zoomed in just a little bit, because uh, I think that will work out quite nicely. So let's go ahead and connect this back up. Um, if possible, we'll connect that directly to there. Connect that to there as well. Good. And then send the video. Okay. And then we want it to be zoomed in very slightly. So how far do we want it zoomed? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have a number anywhere? Number. We're going to get a constant number. Uh, and I guess we'll have it zoomed by however much that is. There we go. We'll put it right there. Okay, so this we'll go to here and we'll have it zoomed by Let's say 0 0.3 0 0.25. So it's not zoomed in too too much, but it's zoomed in a little bit. Good Let's quickly go see what that looks like. Do 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 do. Here we go and Yeah, there's a little bit of zoom on there. There's not very much and now these things do actually push it the right way Which is good. So we open the breach Put around in, close it, fire. Nice. All right, excellent, guys. We've got a we've got a gun that actually works now. Excellent. That's really really cool. Let's just check if this works, so we can actually get into here. Yes, we can, and we can also go downstairs into here, which will be awesome too. Very nice. Yes, guys, I love it. I love it. All right, get back on the ladder, climb back out. There we go. Close it. Good. It all works. It all actually works. Fantastic. And we can actually aim up and fire upwards as well if we need to, which is uh, excellent as well. Nice. All right, so I think we've done a pretty good job with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. I want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, leave a like on the video down below and uh, maybe consider subscribing. But anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.